Nothing compares to the pain of losing a loved one. But what if we told you that we're not the only species capable of experiencing grief? Whether it's a moment of silence or a full-blown burial, witness how these 10 animals say goodbye to the dead. What's up, Fagnatics? This is Discovery Amuse serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts. Stick around because our number one entry is one touching display of human-animal yeah. bond. Get your tissues ready, because here we go. <laughs> Big Dad be number 10, cats. Our feline friends might be internet famous for their over-the-top personality. <laughs> <laughs> but deep down, they're extremely loyal pets who also mourn the loss of their favorite humans. In September of 2017, a 90-year-old man named Ismail Matt, who kept 10 pet cats, was laid to rest at a cemetery in Langkawi, Malaysia. However, his son Hamid was surprised when he learned one of his father's pet cats walked five kilometers from Ismail's house to the cemetery and even tried to scratch the soil on Ismail's grave. In 2016, another cat was discovered at a graveyard in Java, Indonesia, which had spent a year living at the burial plot of her late master named Iba Kundari. Despite attempts by passerby to adopt the tabby, she would always run away only to return to her best friend's resting place. Keep watching because our number one animal might just leave you hoarse from crying a river. Number nine, crows. Oops, sorry, wrong black crows. These intelligent birds can mean different things to different people. Some consider them as good luck, but most of the time they are famous for being harbingers of doom. While crows don't say their farewells like the Night's Watch at GOT, these blackbirds gather around and caw when they spot a dead comrade, and the reason why is more elaborate than you think. To find out why, Dr. Kaylee Swift from the University of Washington conducted an experiment. She and some volunteers spent some time feeding crows in different places. Later on, they would go back with masks on while holding a taxidermized crow. The intention was to look like they killed a dead crow. Every time the volunteers returned to the site, the crows would make sounds as if scolding the volunteers. And instead of mourning their dead brethren, they flocked to the spot of the dead crow to warn others about impending danger in that area. Number 8. Parrots Pet birds are known to show signs of depression when a loved one passes on. They become silent, stop eating, and even tear out their own feathers. If you think parrots are nothing but bird-brained pets, this next one's gonna pluck at your heartstrings. Meet Sinbad, an African gray parrot that has been this old lady's pet for 25 years. At his owner's deathbed, Sinbad could sense that she would soon be leaving this world for good. Instead of being his usual squawky self, the parrot stayed by his owner's side. And when the lady whispered, I love you, with all the strength she had left, Sinbad reached out his claw and touched not only her heart, but everyone else who had seen his viral farewell. <laughs> Number 7. Langer Monkeys It's no secret that monkeys share 99% of their DNA with us humans. Still, when the BBC's Spy in the Wild placed an animatronic baby monkey in the middle of an Indian forest, the producers didn't expect to witness such a human-like display of emotion. See, they planted a surveillance camera on this doll to spy on Langer monkeys. The animatronic baby monkey was so lifelike that when one of the real Langer monkeys accidentally knocked it over from a tree, they thought the fake monkey met its untimely end. The poor killer clearly went bananas with guilt. Traumatized by the tragedy, the other monkeys huddled around the dead baby and started comforting each other as if attending an actual funeral. Number 6. Otters 
Despite otters being known for their solitary nature, these two otters named Lewis and Isla became inseparable when they arrived together at the Scottish Sea Life Sanctuary in 2008. Their bond was so tight that the sanctuary performed a wedding for them three years later. Lewis and Isla became hashtag relationship goals when they spent their married life grooming each other and sleeping together. However, in 2016, just like a Shakespearean tragedy, death separated the lovebirds when Isla passed away due to numerous health problems. Since Isla's passing, Lewis had been utterly devastated. He kept looking for his wife and wouldn't even swim on her side of the pool in the off chance that she came back. He sure did not go gentle into that good night. Rage. Number 5. Wolves if there's anything Jacob from Twilight has taught us, it's that these wild creatures are fiercely loyal. For over a six-year period, American filmmakers Jim and Jamie Dutcher lived near wolves in the Sawtooth Mountains in Idaho and had witnessed the formation of the Sawtooth Pack. What they found is that when a wolf dies, regardless of its rank in the pack, the rest of the group shows signs of depression lasting for days. The Dutchers observed this behavior when the pack lost an omega female wolf named Motaki, who was taken down by a mountain lion. Despite being at the bottom rung of the pack, Motaki's packmates felt the blow of her departure and grieved for weeks. They even hung their heads and tails low while passing by the site of her death to pay their respects. Number 4. Elephants Turns out Dumbo isn't the only elephant that can make us cry. <laughs> Watch these wild elephants mourn their dead. In 2013, Queen Victoria, who was one of the last surviving elephant matriarchs in the Samburu National Reserve in Kenya, passed on due to natural causes. When an American doctoral student named Chifra Goldenberg returned to the site of Queen Victoria's remains, she was astonished to find other elephants from three separate families surrounding and inspecting the carcass. Meanwhile, the immediate family looked visibly distressed that their matriarch wasn't getting up. Even her youngest daughter, Noor, walked away with what seemed like tears streaming down her temporal glands. Seems like moving on from the loss of a loved one is a daunting tusk, even for these gentle giants. Number 3. Emperor Penguins There's no greater pain for a parent than outliving their own child, but such was the heartbreaking scene captured by a BBC documentary in 2013 when an emperor penguin lost its young one. While it's not clear how the chick died, watch as the penguin mother cradled her fallen angel. She tried poking her beak gently at her baby and nudged it towards her pouch in the hopes that the baby might wake up. When she realized it was all for naught, she eventually hunched over in grief. Another female waddled around and gave her a cold shoulder to cry on. If that frigid scene didn't melt your heart faster than global warming, I don't know what will. <laughs> Number 2. Pigs It's a shame that they have a bad rep for their bad hygiene because pigs are actually considered one of the most emotionally intelligent animals in the world. Before you go, what the pork? Let me introduce you to Spot the Pig and his best friend, Sientia. For 13 years, the two hogs from a charity farm in Holland were each other's ride or die until one day in October of 2017, Sienja had to be put down due to complications from osteoarthritis. Their owner wrapped her in a blanket and showered her with flowers to send her off, but when it was time to say goodbye, Spot refused to leave his BFF's side. Spot placed his snout on her body and nuzzled with his deceased soulmate. Ah, oh, this clip almost makes me want to go vegan. Almost. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, horses. 
The movie War Horse may have had a cult following, but it's far from being the only testament to a horse's loyalty. In January of 2017, 34 year old Brazilian cowboy Wagner de Lima Figueiredo died in a motorcycle accident. When Wagner's brother Vando brought his horse Sereno to the funeral, much to everyone's surprise, the horse seemed to grieve for his master's passing by whinnying non stop, pounding his hooves on the ground and laying his head on Wagner's coffin. See, Sereno was Wagner's noble and loyal steed for eight years. Together they would perform in rodeo shows and had also won dozens of tournaments. The late cowboy loved his horse so much that he would hold off on buying stuff for himself just so that Sereno eats the best horse feed. In honor of his brother, Vando pledged to care for Sereno and keep him in the family forever. So. Which among these animals made you ball your eyes out? No judgment. Let us know in the comment section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Keep your Kleenex because we got more heartwarming stories coming your way. Don't miss our roundup of the 20 incredible acts of kindness caught on camera. Till then, give your pets a bear hug, Facnatics, and see you in the next video.